They are new faces on the front lines of the war in Ukraine, female snipers. And while duty didn't call for them, they still loaded up and lined up. Arnez de Lucatera sat down with one of them to discuss her passion for the battlefield and beyond. By now, she's gained a few nicknames. Punisher of Russians and Ukrainian Joan of Arc. I like Jeanne d'Arc. Yeah. <laughs> History Jeanne d'Arc. Yeah. And um, a lot of people said that uh, she was a ginger like me. Okay. Eugenia Emerald has become somewhat of an icon in Ukraine, fighting on the front lines as a sniper, the only woman in her unit. How did they react when they saw that you were joining, that you were a woman? <laughs> Oh, they were shocked. She's only one of more than 50,000 women now enlisted in the Ukrainian army, something that is mandatory for men, but women can also volunteer. All uh, uh, Russians, um, um, they uh, scare us. <laughs> they're scared, they're afraid of you. <laughs> afraid yeah. of me. Yeah. 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 Afraid of us, yeah. women, Ukrainian women, it's important. In her case, it was her father who first taught her how to use a weapon. Uh, when I was a little girl, I wished to be a sniper, not like a princess. <laughs> wow. So even as a little girl, you wanted to be a sniper? Yes, it was my dream. Wow. <laughs> I think uh, if my father now will uh, alive, yes, uh, we fight together in wow. front line, yes. She then enrolled in a military program, and when war broke out in February, it was the army that called her up. Emerald then making the difficult choice to leave her family behind, including her 11-year-old daughter. They just crying. They're just crying, <laughs> yeah. She says she just had to go. She's been everywhere now, from Kharkiv and Jatomir to Bucha in the battle for Kyiv. But she says being a woman on the front has its fair share of challenges, not only battling the common enemy, but also internal gender discrimination. One man she came into contact with, initially saying her place was in the kitchen. And then when they saw how good of a shooter you were, they must have been shocked and, and they must have eventually respected you. Uh, it uh, was later. It was later. <laughs> they respect me later, yes. Women on the Front is a recent phenomenon in Ukraine. While up to one-fifth of Ukraine's armed forces are now women, it wasn't until 2018 that Ukrainian women were finally allowed to serve in combat positions. The surge of female soldiers so new and unexpected that Ukraine's military still doesn't have standard uniforms for women, meaning they're often handed men's uniforms. The Zemlachki NGO coming together to help female soldiers, sending women on the front care packages that include things like lighter body armor, tampons, and fitted uniforms. Helping women like Army medic Schnitzana, who today brought her daughter with her. But she says she's not surprised so many women are enlisting. Let's go. I really love American weapons. Yeah? <laughs> Emerald on leave in Kyiv shows us her gear. There is my toy. Okay, what else? Oh, you know, I have... She used her own car to drive out to the front I and alongside her dress. helmet... Your wedding dress! <laughs> oh, my God! You still have your... Wow! <laughs> the wedding dress she's yet to put away because in the middle of it all, Emerald's also found love. Her future husband reading about her and reaching out by sliding into her DMs on Instagram. He writes that uh, I'm proud of you. You're a very fantastic um, military woman. Our military is the same. And uh, we started speak uh, with, she, uh, with each other. Uh, and it was very um, romantic. <laughs> she eventually took the train to meet him in person, but already knew he was the one. You know, when he first uh, time texted me, uh, I called my mother and said, Mother, you know, I think I met my future husband. Two weeks later, he proposed to eventually marrying on the battlefield near Kharkiv. It's my mother. <laughs> That's her mom. Okay. That's my Amid all the death and destruction of war, Emerald now carrying new life. Face uh, my husband when he knows that uh, he will have a daughter. I <laughs> uh, you know my first daughter, she is like a princess, really. But I think uh, that my um, second uh, daughter, yes, she will be like me. <laughs> she will be like you, <laughs> yeah, okay. And uh, if uh, she um, won't, I will teach her uh, shoot. How to shoot. <laughs> shoot. How to shoot. 
She says as hard as it would be to leave her two daughters now, she'd like to go back to the front eventually. Ukrainian uh, women are very strong, uh, really, and uh, uh, all of us uh, love uh, our uh, land. It is precisely because of her daughters and because of their future that she risks it all. It's the reason why I go to the one. You're thinking about their future? Yes. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.